I'm Tim, welcome to Watch Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Flyback Chronograph. 45 millimeters in brushed and polished stainless steel, you can see this Blancpain 50 Fathoms Chronograph on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there, and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. Now, you can see on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. This truly is a modern, oversized dive watch. Inspired by the 1953 original, which can rightly claim to be the first modern format diving watch. The 2007 to present 50 Fathoms line combines the classical imagery with modern watchmaking refinement and generous proportions. And I do mean generous proportions. This watch, 45 millimeters across the round of the case, is 15.5 millimeters thick, and from extremity to extremity, that is lug to lug at the outer measurement, 56 millimeters. It does wear comfortably, and it has a couple of ergonomic aces up its sleeve, or my sleeve, I should say, to help that happen. First and foremost, the X71 bracelet. This is a living legend. Like the watch itself, it's built with a cost-no-object approach to engineering. Now, you can see how tight the tolerances are between those links. You can see the unique interlock that allows practically no light to shine through this bracelet. This is about as tight and beautiful as bracelet construction gets, even at the highest level of Swiss watchmaking. You can see polished on its flanking sides, it's nevertheless brushed on its tops, a three-link design with a gorgeous progressive taper, and polished intermediate outer links. The watch achieves differentiation without resorting to any kind of two-tone metallic treatment. Now, the X71, which features wonderful flexibility on the wrist also features wonderfully evacuated channels between the links on the bottom such that it doesn't pull on hair or pinch skin and the clasp is almost a story unto itself you can see the inset jb logos beautifully built it also features a richard mill like leaf spring inset to snap the clasp shut and then a clamshell cover blazoned with the jb logo and the company's founding date to cover it all up, and it maintains a remarkably low profile. Unlike Rolex Oyster Clasps, for instance, this one pretty much blends into the curvature of the bracelet without breaking up its beautiful lines. Now, the case itself is built to the highest standards, and this one really is gorgeous. You can see the Blancpain corporate marquee flanking, and there's a unique vertical graining to the case. Rather than running laterally, the brushing on the metal is actually vertical, contrasting with the longitudinal sweep of the brushing atop the lugs, as well as the hoods of the conforming end pieces. Now the sapphire on these watches is a true gem. This was the first modern dive watch to use the sapphire capped bezel, and it remains one of the few. As ceramics have overtaken the industry, the beauty of a full domed sapphire bezel, the magnification effect, the look of almost being wet all the time with commensurate depth and luster, is sort of unique to the 50 Fathoms, because while some have adopted the sapphire capped bezel, very few have. But while some have, none have followed Blancpain's practice of using a cambered crystal that does act as a magnifying glass and gives the watch almost a vintage bubble look to it. Now, fully loomed, this is a watch that has both a fully loomed bezel and dial. And because of that unique appearance, this is also one of the few watches that I've picked out for a loom shop. So give me a moment to energize it, and I'm going to give you a view of this watch in no light conditions. And there you have it. Not just a loomed index, but a fully loomed unidirectional rotating dive bezel. It's a beautiful sight to behold. It has a satisfying click and detent. You can feel it, you can hear it, and just as a bad diving bezel can ruin the experience of a dive watch, a great one can really be the exclamation point on a fantastic overall effort. Back to the light. And now you see the dial, and this is a unique Flynn case style. It features lacquer over guilloche for a lustrous texture that looks deep blue and rich. If you've ever heard the expression royal blue, this is really what comes to mind. I realize this isn't royal blue, but this feels like watchmaking royalty. I get that impression. It achieves its premium purpose. Now, it features a Blancpain and Frédéric Piguet caliber F185 flyback chronograph. So a single press of the reset trigger, and it resets all indications to zero and restarts. You can also cycle it conventionally, 
with the triggers. It features both a column wheel function selector and a vertical clutch engagement. So it starts smooth, stops without stagger, resets precisely to the index of 12, and because it's a vertical coupling without the meshing gears of a lateral clutch, you can just leave it engaged and use center seconds as your constant seconds rather than relying on the subdial. It features a beautifully hidden and very subtle monotone blue date disc at 6 o'clock, so you have that feature. It does feature a quick set function for the date. The watch features a 3 Hz 37 joule 308 part Frederic Piguet flyback chronograph movement based on the 1185 series. It's one of the great chronograph movements of the modern era. Beautifully finished, beautifully built. It was the inspiration for Rolex's caliper 4130, so it has a great heritage and an ongoing legacy in the industry. This is a fantastic watch, enhanced by 300 meter water resistance, so you can wear it wherever you are, whenever you are. And with a soft iron paramagnetic inner cage, it's also resistant to the high magnetic flux densities that you can encounter in today's wired up homes and offices. You can see this Blancpain 50 Fathoms flyback chronograph in stainless steel on our website, watchyouwant.com.